Well, today is a big day for thousands of families in the South Bay. It's the first day of school in the Chula Vista Elementary School District. And I wonder what, like, this generation of elementary school students are going to look back and say, do you remember yeah. when my cell phone was this big? Or exactly, that? yeah. <laughs> State Superintendent of Public Instruction is visiting one of the campuses here today. And News 8's Evan Ronnie has a closer look. Good morning, Eric and Stella. That's right. It is a big morning for the students, for the staff, and for a lot of the parents that are bringing their kids into school for the first time for the 2021-2022 school year. And for a lot of the first graders that are coming into the classroom today, it'll be their first time coming into the classroom, period. Kindergarten was virtual for many of these students, so a lot of these first graders will be entering the school and the classroom for the very first time in their lives. A very exciting moment for a lot of those parents and for the kids as well. So uh, today's going to be a big Big day as those students start to make their way into the classroom and into uh, this district specifically. At Camarena Elementary, uh, there are a lot of safeguards that are still going to be in place. However, uh, some of the teachers spoke to us ahead of the reopening. It will look a little bit different and it might feel a little bit different, but yes, we are planning for a normal and successful school year. And those who attend in-person instruction will see some changes compared to last year's plexiglass, spread out desks, and daily temperature checks. The district says they're confident parents will be screening their children before bringing them in each day. Students and staff will, however, still need to wear masks inside of the classroom that they can remove once they're outside. Classrooms will also have hand sanitizer and HEPA air filters. The district says they'll do everything in their power to deliver a normal but safe school year starting today, though they're hoping for that 100% in-person attendance they understand some families still having some hesitation along the way. The district will call this a virtual academy to those who are going to be staying home for the time being. Now, again, the state superintendent of public instruction, Tony Thurmond, he's going to be here today just around 8 o'clock uh, where we're expected to talk with him about some of the safeguards that are going into keeping these schools open uh, across the board with that hopeful 100 percent capacity. This district, this specific school district and here at Camarena, uh, one of the first in the state to reopen on this time line for the 2021 2022 school year. So there will be a lot going into this. Uh, the state superintendent hoping to pick up on some of those techniques that they're going to be putting in place to keep those students safe for this upcoming school year in the South Bay. I'm Evan Narani News 8. And today also the first day of school for kids in the Sweetwater Union High School District. Superintendent Moises Aguirre talked about returning to the classroom for the first time in more than a year. And the ability to bring joy back to our students and to our staff. Um, the ability to be with one another in a social setting and then be able to to engage, I think, is is really uh, just it, it provides a sense of optimism that that's been sorely lacking, and we're 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 glad we're here. Students and staff will be required to wear masks inside the classrooms. Superintendent Aguirre also addressed some concerns about water fountains and bathrooms on campus due to COVID. We've installed uh, these filled stations where students can fill their uh, their portable water, uh, their, their water bottles. Um, so that is true. Same with restrooms. Uh, we are also limiting the number of students. Depends on the size of the restroom, but generally it's one or two students at a time. Um, because again, we just want to minimize and, and really mitigate for those spaces where uh, spread of COVID can occur. Students in the Sweetwater Union High School District will have the option to learn virtually as well.